Gemini 3, build and automate anything. Today, I'm going to show you the truth about Gemini 3 and building landing pages with AI. Everyone's saying you can create entire websites with one prompt. That's not true. I tested it and I'm going to show you what actually works. You're going to learn the real workflow that creators use. Plus, I'll show you how to automate your landing pages the right way. This is huge for anyone building a business. So let's talk about Gemini 3. You've probably seen the videos. Someone types one prompt, boom, full landing page, ready to go, live on the internet. Sounds amazing, right? Here's the problem. It's not the full story. And I'm going to break down exactly what's happening behind the scenes. First, let me be clear. Gemini 3 is powerful. Google released this model and it can do a lot. But the idea that you just type one sentence and get a perfect landing page, that's where things get messy. I've tested this myself. I've watched dozens of videos and I've seen what really happens when you try to build with AI. Here's what most creators don't tell you. When they show you that one prompt landing page, they've already done a ton of work beforehand. They have their brand colors ready. Their copy is written. Their images are prepared. They know exactly what sections they need. Then they use Gemini 3 to put it together. That's not the same as starting from scratch. Let me show you what I mean. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Let's say I want to create a landing page for the AI Profit Boardroom. This is our community where people learn to scale their business and get more customers with AI automation. If I just type into Gemini 3, create a landing page for AI Profit Boardroom, what happens? gives me something. Sure, but it's generic. The headlines are boring. The value propositions are weak. The call to action buttons say things like learn more or get started. That doesn't convert. That doesn't speak to the pain points of someone who wants to automate their business and save hundreds of hours. So what do the smart creators actually do? They use a workflow. And this is where it gets interesting. They, they start with chat GPT or Claude to write the copy. They use specific prompts to nail the messaging. Then they move to Gemini 3 or another tool to build the structure. Then they use Canva or Photoshop for images. Then they export to Webflow or WordPress. That's like four or five different tools. Now, I'm not saying that's bad. That workflow can produce amazing results, but it's not what the videos promise. The videos make it sound like Gemini 3 is magic. One click and you're done. That sets people up for disappointment. And worse, it makes them think they're doing something wrong when it doesn't work. Here's the real limitation of single prompt website generation. Like AI models like Gemini 3 are great at following instructions, but they can't read your mind. They don't know your brand voice. They don't know your customer avatar. They don't know what makes your offer unique. You have to give them that information. And that takes more than one prompt. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Gemini 3. The link is in the comments and description. Think about it like this. If you hired a web designer and just said, make me a landing page, what would they say? They'd ask you a million questions. Who's your audience? What's the main benefit? What action do you want people to take? What's your brand style? Do you have testimonials? What objections do people have? AI is the same. You need to give it context. So let me walk you through what actually works. This is the process I use. And this is what I teach inside the AI Profit Boardroom. First, you need to get clear on your offer. What are you selling? Who is it for? What problem does it solve? Write that down. Be specific. Don't say I help people with AI. Say I help small business owners automate their customer support and save 10 hours per week. Second, you need to outline your landing page sections. Most high converting landing pages have the same structure. You've got your hero section with a headline and subheadline. Then you've got a benefit section then social proof or testimonials, then features or how it works, then objections or FAQ, then a final call to action. Write down what needs to go in each section. Third, use AI to write the copy for each section separately. Don't ask for the whole page at once. Ask Gemini 3 or ChatGPT to write you five different headlines for your hero section. Pick the best one, then ask it to write the sub headline, then move to the benefits, break it down. This gives you way better results. Fourth, now you can use Gemini 3 or another AI tool to build the actual page. But here's the key. You're giving it the copy you already created. You're giving it clear instructions on the layout. Right? You might say, create a landing page with these exact sections. Use this headline. Use these three benefit points. Make the call to action button say, join the AI profit boardroom. That's specific. That works. Fifth, you edit and refine. AI gets you maybe 80% of the way there. 
you need to add the final touches, adjust the spacing, change the colors, swap out placeholder images for real ones, add your logo. This step is crucial. It's what separates a generic AI page from something that actually converts. Now, let me address something important. Why do creators make those one prompt videos in the first place? It's simple. They get views. People love the idea of easy automation, push one button and boom. But the reality is building a real business takes work. AI makes it faster. AI makes it easier, but it doesn't make it automatic. You still need strategy. You still need good copy. You still need to understand your customer. And that's actually good news because it means there's still an opportunity for people who put in the effort. If everyone could create a perfect landing page with one prompt, then everyone would do it. There would be no advantage. But since it takes skill and knowledge to use these tools properly, the people who learn the right process will win. Let me give you a real example. Inside the AI Profit Boardroom, we teach people how to use AI to grow their business. One of our members wanted to create a landing page for their consulting service. They tried the one prompt approach first. It didn't work. The page looked okay, but it didn't convert. No one was signing up. So we worked with them on the process I just described. We helped them clarify their offer. We helped them outline the sections. We used AI to write compelling copy. We built the page with clear instructions. Then we refined it. The result, the conversion rate went from zero to 8%. That's the difference between doing it right and doing it fast. Here's another thing to understand about Gemini 3 specifically. It's really good at certain tasks. It can generate code. It can create structured layouts. It can follow detailed prompts, but it's not as strong at creative copywriting compared to models like Claude or GPT-4. So if you're using Gemini 3, play to its strengths, use it for the technical stuff, use other tools for the creative stuff. Now you might be wondering, what about all those AI website builders, tools like Durable or Tenweb or Mixo? Don't they solve this problem? Kind of. Those tools are basically running the workflow I described for you automatically. They ask you questions about your business, then they use AI to generate copy, then they build the page. It's the same process, it's just packaged differently. The advantage of those tools is speed. You can get a landing page up in minutes. The disadvantage is control. You're limited to their templates. You can't customize as much. It's something you could do yourself with the right knowledge. That's why I prefer teaching people the actual workflow. Then you own the skill. You're not dependent on another tool. Let me also talk about a big mistake I see people make. They focus way too much on the design and not enough on the message. They want the page to look pretty. They want fancy animations and cool effects. But here's the truth. Your landing page could be ugly and still convert if the message is right. On the other hand, a beautiful page with weak copy will fail every time. So when you're using AI to build landing pages, spend 80% of your time on the copy and 20% on the design. Get the headline right, make sure your benefits are clear, address objections, create urgency. That's what drives conversions. The design just needs to be clean and easy to read. That's it. Now let's talk about automation because that's the real promise of AI, right? You don't want to manually build a landing page every time you have a new offer. You want to create systems that work for you. So how do you actually automate landing page creation with AI? Here's what I do. I've created prompt templates for every section of a landing page. I have a template for headlines, a template for benefit statements, a template for call to action buttons. When I need a new page, I just fill in the variables. What's the offer? Who's the audience? What's the main benefit? Then I run those prompts through AI. I get all my copy in about 10 minutes. Then I have a Notion database with all my brand assets, colors, fonts, logo files, image guidelines, everything in one place. So when I'm building the page, I'm not starting from zero. I just grab what I need. This is the kind of system we teach inside the AI Profit Boardroom. It's about building reusable processes that save you time. You can also automate the page building itself. If you use tools like Webflow or Framer, you can create component libraries, basically pre-built sections that you can mix and match hero section, benefit section, testimonial section. You just swap out the text and images, combine that with AI generated copy, and you've got a real automation system. But here's the key insight. Automation isn't about doing everything with one click. It's about removing the repetitive parts so you can focus on strategy. AI should handle the grunt work, writing the first draft, building the basic structure. You should handle the thinking. What makes this offer unique? How do we position it? What's the best way to communicate value? This is why I get frustrated with the one prompt landing page hype. It makes people think they don't need to learn anything. Just let the AI do it. But the best results come from combining AI capabilities with human insight. That's the actual future of business, not replacing humans, augmenting them. Now, if you want to dive even deeper into AI automation, 
I've got something special for you. I run a community called the AI Profit Boardroom, the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds with AI automation. Learn how to save time and automate your business with AI tools like Gemini 3. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 40,000 members who are crushing it with AI. The link is in the comments and description.